Of course, we made sure that with the uh, <clears throat> sorry with the uh, cane lines also. Of course, we did. We made. That's the one I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. We made sure that with a lot of these heathen nations, but the Lord is going to do this. Zechariah fourteen twenty one. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. We are the pots. We are the plants and stuff like that. Isaiah chapter 5. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seethe therein. They're going to be bathed in it. And uh, basically all the heathen nations are going to follow after our God. Isaiah chapter 2. And uh, going on. And in that day, shall shall be oh, sorry and in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of Yahweh the Lord of hosts so all the tear babies and I got another scripture concerning that all the tear babies meaning the the, the children like like that alkaloid female what's, what's her name again alkaloid Like this, these these little tear babies. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but that's I'm not sorry. It's kind of you know, but she's she's living good right now. She's a part of the kingdom of the Edomites. She's she's living great. She's having a beautiful life. You know, she's chilling. She's having it great. She's happy that she is the person that she is. She's happy that she's born of a Jake mother, a whore, and 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 an Edomite father. You know. She's happy. They own it. This is their queendom. They can do beautiful things. She can play in the movie. She can stand with pride and all that, that type of crazy stuff. You know? She can grow longer hair. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. So, yeah. She, she, she's doing good now. She's doing good now. Not for long. But she's doing good now. So, yeah. Matthew chapter 13 verse 36 Then Yahweh sent the multitude away and went into his house and his disciples came unto him saying declare unto us the parables of the tares in the field you see that girl that I just showed you she looks like she's one of us she's not actually Drake is actually one of us <laughs> because of his father you know I still use it against him because I, I don't like him either. But he makes him dope. No, he uh, a few a few songs of him I like, but I'm not really listening to him. But I heard it and I was like, yeah, it's kind of dope. But now I know that he steals everything. <laughs> so I, he's a very good copycat, and and our people are very good at copying too. Uh, you know, other nations are good at stealing. You know, we're good at stealing too. Anyway, so this is it there. These are the tears. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Which one? Yeah, no, no, sorry. Shit. <laughs> Basically, these are the, the weed and these are the tears. Yeah, I made a mistake. Um, yeah, see, it looks like, but if you, if you study, if you look at it, you'll be like, okay, this one. This one is edible. This one is not. This one is for animals. And this one is for uh, people. You can eat it. People. You, you can eat it when it's brown, like this. When it's riped, ripened. Then you can eat it. But this one. It also turns the same color. You, you cannot eat it. Oh, sorry. Oh, you cannot eat it. This one. Oh, she, see, I made the mistake again. Right. Uh, weeds and tears. Some of them look alike. The weeds, the weed and tears are ripening. Right, going on. Now it says here. Hmm. The field is the world. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The good seed is this word. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. Because they are going to inherit. <clears throat> they are going to receive this word. But the tares. <coughs> parable of the seed. Sorry. Parable of the seed. Is it John or John 8? Hmm. John 8 or John 6? I think it's John 8. Or Luke 8. Okay. 
Yeah. Now the parable is this: the seed is the word of God. That's it. That's all I want. Right. The good seed. Mm, the good seed are the children of the kingdom. Those are the ones that will receive it. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. As Esau. In slavery. <clears throat> Sorry. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered together. Sorry. They are gathered and burned in the fire. See? So shall it be in the end of this world. When the angels come, they will separate us. Then that girl that you just saw, you're not going to see her no more. It might look cruel, but these are the ones, along with the other ones, that of, of like the Drakes, those are the ones that will start the light skin, dark skin war. Because they're going to be more accepted by Esau. And then therefore, they're going to think they're better than you. And they're going to fight against you. You might not believe it now, but uh, I know what I'm talking about. If you go to South America, you will see them. Not all of them, but... A big fucking chunk of them. I'll tell you that. And they don't like you, nigga. You darky. Look at your hair. You, know, you won't hear shit like that. But anyway, keep on loving them. They'll show you that they um they'll, they'll show you how much they love you. You're gonna find out. Eventually. As therefore the tears are gathered together. Eh? No, gathered and burned in the fire. So shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. And they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend. Oh, so that's an offense? So this is an offense? <laughs> yes, it is. But the, you are the offense to them. You dark nigga. You're black. Your hair is, a, your hair is ugly. You know? And all that, that type of shit. Okay, all things that offend. You are an offense to the Heavenly Father. Meanwhile, I'm an offense to you. I know that. Mm -hmm. you know, especially if we go to South America. And all over the world, actually. But anyway. And them which do iniquity. You you are an offense also. So all you soul-selling bastards, you Jakes, you know, you Jennifer Hudson's, and... Yeah, you Andrew Tate loonies. And, uh, you know, doing all type of Masonic hand gestures and stuff like that. That's iniquity. You know, you probably be doing devil shit on the side. Probably learned that from your father because he was juiced in. That's why I don't like rich people. Rich people. Because they're hanging around people like this. JC and Bill. Sneaks. <laughs> Bill Gates. You, they hanging around these type of people. I am not your friend, bro. I'm not hanging around with you. Uh, I don't trust you. I don't. I have never listened to his music. I heard one, but that was because of Big L. You know, Big L and uh, and uh, Jay Z. That is the only reason I I learn uh, I listened to this dude. And even back in the days, I never liked him. I heard this song. It's a hard knock life. Yeah, I never downloaded it. I never played. I don't do it, man. I don't do things like that. You know, I just don't. I'd rather listen to him. Even though I see him rubbing his shoulders with this guy. And here, this guy is rubbing elbows with this guy. You know? Yeah. Uh, but, but in all fairness, defense to myself, I listened to him when his hair was long. <laughs> and I'm not joking. I haven't listened to this guy since he started making the movies and you know you 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 might it's, I, I believe in spiritual so-called coincidences and stuff like that when he cut his hair that's when i lost interest in him and now i know why you might you know i didn't even want to say that because it sounds like oh so you you felt it in your spirit well i, I just didn't like him after that no more. <laughs> i don't know why i don't know now i know now i know why you know so let that uh, let that be that and him I just never liked him now now I know why 
you know. I never liked her. Now I know why. I never liked her. Now I know why. I never liked Stacy Jet. Now I know why. Stacy Dash. Now I know why. And now since I know all those things, I often look at people and if I don't like you, I think there's probably something wrong with you. <laughs> I don't know you. How can I not like you? Or there's something, you know. But I don't want to take it overboard too much, you know. Sometimes I just have something in my head, you know. The book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4, verse 22. Accept no person against thy soul. Don't accept him. And let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. The high respect that you have for a person, don't let that high respect cause you to fall by starting worshiping him. Because that's stupid, you know. You shouldn't have res too much respect for a person. You should respect the Lord. Put your trust in here. Because if you reference a person, you're going to start believing like he can save you. Listen to you, little nook. I can't save you. I'm just making videos. Don't see me as a celebrity because I, I want to give you a Hebrew schmack. I'm not going to touch him. I want to give you that Hebrew schmack so that the spit flies out your mouth because you're talking shit. That's what you're doing when you worship in me. I don't want that. I'm not a celebrity. And Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Thus saith Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusted in man, and make it flesh his arm. Like like the fleshly things on the planet Earth, you're going to use that to arm yourself. No, we walk around with our fists. We don't have weapons in our pocket. Even though sometimes you think you need it. You know, because you might be surrounded by a lot of devils. You'd be like, man, I'm going to stab this guy, stab that guy, stab that guy, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm shoot this one, shoot that one. And those whose heart departed from the Lord. So cursed be you if your heart departs from the Lord. Then you have another one uh, for an example. Micah chapter 7, verse 10. No, 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 no. 7, verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend. So you can trust them, but don't put your trust in them. Don't trust friends. Yeah, sometimes you shouldn't trust them neither. <laughs> you know, it depends. Put ye not confidence in a guide. You can have confidence that the Lord sent him, but don't put your confidence in that guide because he can't help you. Oh, so wait, wait, let me say it better. He can help you, but he cannot save you. Salvation cannot come from him. Doesn't come from him. Does not come from him. Keep the door of thy mouth from her that lied in thy bosom. Watch your mouth what you say to your wife. Because women are naturally gossipers. They're going to talk. Eventually. They're going to spill it out. They can't help themselves. It's like a crack cocaine addict. He has to have it. Now give me... Give me that shot. Yeah. He's going to steal from his parents. Or anyone that he's close by or nearby. He's going to want to steal from you. Because he's going to want to buy some dope. Well, that's a chick. Your girl, the one that you love so much, she's going to talk. So shut your mouth. Don't tell her anything. You know, don't be teaching her stupid stuff too. She's going to use it against you. Because that's her nature. You're an idiot if you think that that is not going to happen. Do you think you're better than the Lord? That's what you think if you think like, no, my girl, my girl's different. My girl's greater than... Till she buck up a... Did she bust your ass with that divorce bill? You gonna cry like that mean guy? Not this one. The other one that was this one. That's you. Believing in your girl. Or this one. The silent crier. <laughs> because I know. Because I know. This gonna be you too. That was funny. Wow. 98 million. 98 million views. <laughs> I actually laughed. I actually did laugh. It was the funniest thing.
This this guy's funny too, man. But your father is funnier. I think it's his father. <laughs> I can't watch it too many times. It's not gonna be funny anymore. I need to watch it like every you know, every once in a while. It's gonna be cracking in my. <laughs> it's gonna be cracking like if it if I watch it every once in a while. If you watch something too many times, it's not gonna be funny no more. You already know what's coming. But if, it, if you watch it once in a while, it's going to be cracking up every time. We get, mm, you're going to be in pieces. Uh, Zerat chapter 9 verse 1. Be not jealous of the wife of thy bosom. Yeah. If she wants to go out with her friends, let her go out. Don't be tripping. Some dudes get angry when her, their wife is with her mother the whole time. Why are you tripping? It's better that she's with her mother than that she's with female friends and stuff and going to the club you're an idiot but some people are just stupid man they don't reason with themselves concerning those type of things anyway be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom and teach her not an evil lesson against thyself <laughs> you better take heed to this boy don't teach her too much she's gonna use it against you that's what they do I mean like you gotta watch out for it you know just don't do it think 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 of certain things that you shouldn't be teaching her you know for example um, if you teach her this but she's gonna well now how the teachings are being but she also has to be a, 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 a not, not a demon uh, what was it again? Exodus Exodus 21 right because it says here Exodus 21 and 10 if he take him another wife her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. So, the first wife that you have, her food, her her clothing, and her, her duty of marriage, which is sex, shall he not diminish. Or else she's going to want to have sex from somebody else. And then you're going to cause her to be an adulteress. That's because now you're focusing on your new wife. You can't do that. Okay? And if he do not these th three things unto her, then shall she go out free without money. So in her mind, she might think like, oh, okay, then I can divorce you because you're not giving me food, you're not giving me clothing that I want. I want Gucci, Versace, and all that, that crazy stuff, Nike, everything, everything. And you're not having, you're not plowing me how I feel like, you know, I want, I want a, a bigger thing or I want it, I want it, I want to bust more water fountains and stuff like that. And you're not really doing it for me. You know, and then she's gonna want to leave or something like that because it says here if if she do not if he do not these three things unto her give her food give her clothing give her sex, then she can go out free without money without paying. Basically, you leaving without uh, paying, and also you are leaving without um, if you're in a relationship you're leaving without alimony or child support and all that that type of stuff. Yeah, go then. You're not gonna want to do that because you're gonna want to have money when you leave. But this is talking about your wife as a uh, servant, by the way, Hebrew Hebrew servant. Okay, but yeah, you can you can add that on to the to today also, that when you divorce, she's not supposed to get money. Bye. But anyway, they're not gonna do that. But don't don't teach your wife something against uh, against you, because she will use it against you. In the beginning, it's all love until you break up, and then it it might turn into war. You know, the majority of the time it's war. And not with all females, you know, but the majority of the time it's war when you break up. You want the, 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 you're gonna wanna fight each other. And that that should that should make you think like, do I really wanna go in it, into a relationship with this female? Yeah. I don't know. Do I wanna hell in my life? Do I wanna fight? Let me see. Make a calculation. Do I wanna fight in my life? Yes or no? Is she worth having a horrible horrible <laughs> experiences hmm. yeah do you want to cry like that guy over there <laughs> okay that. and his son do you want to cry like both of them yeah you and your girl <laughs> I don't think so yeah. some people take their chances man you know but yeah do the iniquities and stuff like that, but let all their sins come to the uh, air. No, not the air. If their iniquities get high and stuff like that, eh, the Lord is going to cut you down like that song. 
Lord's gonna cut you down. That's a fitting song. Yeah, this guy. And that, I believe that this guy was a Jake. Marilyn Manson, fuck this devil. Uh, God's gonna cut you down. Where's Johnny Cash? Yeah, Johnny Cash. I believe that this guy is a Native American man. I saw him. I seen his face. He looked like a here. He might look. He looked like a. He doesn't look like a caucus person to me. He looked like somebody from, um, like you know, some kind of Latin almost, but Spanish actually. He looks Spanish to me. He really does. And you could say you know conquistador, but he actually does look like that. But what I think is that. <clears throat> What happened is that somewhere a Native American man with some Edomite conquistador female or something like that made a baby. Or even closer by. Closer, you know. That he... he I think he's a Native American. That's what I think. Because when he was older, you can see the Native in his face. My olders. Here. He's, I see a Native American in his face. When he is older. I see it in him. Oh no, I just see it in him. You know, like I said, sometimes you can look at people and you can see stuff. I see it in him. I don't see I don't see a devil, boy. I'm telling you that for sure, for sure. I do not see a demon. I don't I don't see a devil. You know? I see some native dude. I see a native a gadite or something like that. When he's younger, it's a little bit less visible. But uh, when he's older, I can kind of see an old Native American man. Yep. I can kind of see it. Here he almost looks like Elvis. <laughs> to, to a certain degree. I don't know why. Maybe the, the clothing or something. Actually, the clothing, yeah. <coughs> and a little bit of the funky of the hair. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, But uh, this is a great song, my man. When I heard this song for the first time, I was at, I actually had a drink and I was watching a movie but at the end of the movie I wanted to get up but then I heard the song playing for the first time I was in a I was watching a movie <clears throat> I never go to the theaters by the way but this time I was in the theaters I forgot which movie it was I don't know anymore it could have been the movie with the with the super this evil superman guy Brightburn it could have been this movie. I don't know. Because I think this... Not think. I know this movie I went to the movies with. I got a card from a, from a friend. You know, so... So I, I could go for free. But I don't want to do that no more. Because you got to do some scamming shit. It's his name, but I use it. I don't want to do that no more. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit. I don't want to do that shit. I hate that shit, man. It's, it's fake. It, it's because I'm being fake. You're faking it. And you're lying. I don't want to do that shit, man. So I went to it. Yes, yes, yes. I did it. I did it. And it was like when when this movie came out. That's when I did it. I don't know when it came out. Uh, yeah, 2019. Yeah, I did it in 2019. So yeah, I, I was well in the truth. I know. I know. I know. But yeah, yeah, I still didn't feel good about it afterwards. So I didn't do it anymore. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm not going to the to the movies on another person's name, even though it's it's free and. Even though he did pay for it, but it's on his name. That's only the irritating thing. But anyway, so I think it was that. Mo I don't know. But like I said, listen to this. Mo uh, yeah, I was sitting in the theater at the end of the movie, and then I wanted to get up, and then he was talking, and I was like, "Huh? This guy's talking to me? <laughs> really? I'm not. I'm not making this up. I thought the guy was talking to me. I literally thought he was talking to me." Me, me thinking scriptures and stuff like that. When I was looking at the bright burn, I was thinking scriptures because first and foremost, his house number is 143. And that's one of the, that's one of the first scenes that you see in the movie. Let me, let me try and get it for you. Yeah, here you have it. The opening scene. Bright uh, Briar, Brandon Briar is his name. <clears throat> And the the number is 143, so I put one and one together, <laughs> and I thought to myself like, oh, he's one of the 144,000. He's the 144th. Basically, these are the type of powers that we're gonna get. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So 
after the movie, I don't know if this movie, but I don't know, I'm not sure. But I was thinking of stuff, and then, you know, I, I, I'm not even sure if it was that movie. Maybe I'm switching two things at the same time. <laughs> That's possible. But I do remember I was in the movie theaters and then movie the song came and I thought the guy was talking to me. And then I sit for the whole movie. Bra Brewer, which is uh, to knit. Brewer, which is your brewing stuff, you know, brewing drinks. Brewer. And then you have, you know, the confident person with strong sense of duty. And then you have the name Brandon. Which is uh, Brandon. Oh, yeah, meaning. Sorry, naming. It's not definition. Brandon. Brandon Prince. And then you have Briar. Name meaning, which is uh, basically a strong prince, sense of duty, and mystique. Farmer. Yeah, we, we were shepherds, but anyway, Briar. Brewer. So what's the definition of so Brower translates to brewer. So what's the, the brewer? To make beer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, mm, a surname. Broom. Mm -hmm. Broom to sweep. Because we're gonna wipe wipe we're gonna sweep the planet. When we are a mountain instead of a hill. So, uh, yeah. We're the mountain of the Lord. And the, and the other mountains and the hills are going to bow to us. And they will. They will 100%. If they don't, we're going to whoop them. But yeah, so I was thinking stuff. So, anyway. You know, he's like 144,000. That's what I was thinking when I saw this. I was like, oh, yeah. I think I bought this movie too. I don't know. If I bought it, it must be somewhere here. I don't know if I bought it. Certain things I buy, I, I, you know, normally I never buy stuff. I just uh, find it somewhere on the internet and watch it and then I'm done with it. But certain things I do buy because I want them because it's it means something to me. So I want to obtain it, right? So anyway, so yeah, look enough of this. And, uh, just watch this. Uh, listen to this, sorry. It's a great song. Very good. Very good song. Yeah, like I said, I don't think he's a devil. He's a he's a Jake man. This guy, this is a fucking devil. This is a goddamn devil. Fuck this guy. Fucking Satanist. He's the first trans person that I saw ever in my life. Uh, I saw this guy on a billboard with with tits. With tits, I saw him with tits, and I was like, what the, what the fuck is that? I didn't know what it was, man. That's why I'll never forget this dude. Heavenly Father willing, I'm going to get his kids, man. I'm going to show you something. You know? I'm going to get you. Heavenly Father willing. I saw a poster on the street. And I saw a man in a female thing. Like a female thing. Wait. This. This is what I saw. And I wasn't even that young. I was old. I was in, I was in my teen. Teenagers. Uh stuff like that I think I was not young I was no child or something like that but uh, I saw it and I was like what the, what the fuck what the fuck is that now I understand how children look at that thing they, they, what, what yeah I'm extremely angry boy but if I say stuff they're gonna flag me and they already flagged me like uh, for seven days and stuff like that you know what I'm saying that's why I couldn't upload videos so I ain't gonna say nothing you know I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut this thing off. I'm gonna fucking cuss, cuss the fucking man. Cuss. You know, and I ain't playing, man. You know, I'm fucking. I'm gonna leave it at that. She's fuck, oh, man. I can't. I can't look at certain people, man. I can't look at them. I can't look at them because I'm very angry. You know, certain people, man. I'm telling you, man. Like for real. But anyway, I saw this. I saw this. This thing. Man, I was angry. At first I saw it, I was like, what is that? I really asked myself, like, what is that? So now you can understand how children be thinking when they see it. They know what it is. I didn't know what it was. When I was well of age, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. So, 
but I do remember walking and I saw it because I was walking alone and I went to somewhere I don't know exactly where I was going but I saw a, a, like a poster on a on this thing you know I saw it on this one like you know these these things yeah this one I saw it on these type of things like some 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 shit here met posters something something like that something like this something like this like a like a this thing it's still the same thing is this but then you have the posters thing on it like you know these type of things Yeah, so uh, they're gonna get theirs, right? That's why I can't wait for the extermination of. Hmm. Anyway, let me let me leave that. Now, basically, that's it. It's fucking horrible. You gotta walk on the planet Earth, see shit like that. You know, but they, you saw it's gonna get his. He's gonna get what he deserve. Cause his iniquities are reaching unto heaven, and ours, luckily. <laughs> Well, we were cut down quick. <laughs> I'll tell you that. We were cut down quick. Uh, not to forget the cut down song of um, Johnny Cash. I think I clicked it away. I'm hope. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. It's a dope song. Very spiritual to me. To a lot of people, actually. Let me see something. Yeah, I think that's it. He's losing. He's losing his kingdom because if his if the, if America falls, he's gonna fall along with along with along with this this thing, along with her. She's gonna fall too. She's gonna fall, and I don't feel sorry because she. I think she was pushing the sodomy thing to. You know they're pushing that they're pushing that female agenda. She's part of it also. But you know what the thing is? They're children, man. They are being programmed by their so-called elder ones and their older ones. You know stuff like that. People that are in authority, and they're just going along with the flow. Because if we taught them, they wouldn't be thinking like that. And if they did, then they, they would be, be rebellious. But then again, the Edomite is not that. Uh, these these Edomite females and this is an Edomite female. It's a Caucasus female. You might not believe it. It might not look like it, but it, this is a caucus female. You know, that that's what it is. It's a caucus female. Yeah, and this one too. So I, this is why I always when I see this thing, I don't like it. And no, um, let me see. I just don't like her because her father. I do not have a problem with him. Because his father is a is an Amalekite. So it is said. But then I look at him and I don't know. I don't know. His father could have been a Jake just like you had Amy Winehouse. I'm looking for the name in my head. Just like you had Amy Winehouse. That's not a that's not an Amalekite, man. You know? I mean the way that she could sing, I mean she, if that is an Amalekite, then she must have did some devil worshipping because then the, the spirit of that so called black woman was channeling through her then. That's the only explanation I have. Or she used to Jake herself, a a Amy Winehouse, or she done some real ritualistic stuff in order for that spirit to come upon her and channel through her. If you watch this documentary called It's a 10 hour documentary but you're only going to get 41, 44 minutes and stuff like that. I think here maybe you know, I can't put the link because uh, they're going to flag me for that. Uh, I did it on another channel and they did. <laughs> but that that was... Actually, I can put the link because it's on YouTube. So, don't fuck me up. But what I did was I went to a streaming thing. A streaming thing where you can watch movies for free. So, that that was... Uh, that was not uh, according to their... How you call that thing? How you call that thing again? According to their... Terms of service. Terms of service, wait. Oh yeah, here. Mm, 10 hours. But yeah. 
Yeah, you don't have to go there. You just go to Bitchute. Here. Bitchute is just like YouTube. And also YouTube, you can find it. But you're not going to really find uh, everything. Bitchute, you're going to find it. Just type in Bitchute. And then uh, I can say it. I'm not putting the link. Yeah. Just uh, tell you where to find stuff. And that's not a streaming thing. It's just a YouTube thing, you know. But uh, YouTube has it too. You know, they got it also. But you need to look harder for it. Let me see here, YouTube. Here, they sell the sell for rock and roll. 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 Here, here again, sneak peek. Uh, here, uh, part one, part two. You know, they got it on uh, here. I don't know here. You can just find it, you know. This is a three-hour one. <clears throat> they also uh, have the three-hour one, and but uh, I have the ten-hour one. I do have that. I have this one. I didn't watch everything. I watched the three-hour one, but that was years ago. So I need to go watch it again. And uh, but I don't. I don't really f have the time. It's, I do have the time a little bit, but. Yeah, I don't feel like doing it right now. That's why I don't feel like sitting down and watching that thing. But it, it is a very it's, it's very very informative. I'll tell you that. But I'm doing other stuff at the same at the time, so I don't really have like you know. But I will. I will. I will watch it. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, I will go and watch it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not paying this. With it. We'll get out of here, bro. Right. So with that, I would say shallow one. Well, yeah, here, here, part four or five. You can just watch it for free on YouTube. So yeah. So with that, uh, since I got like uh, one strike already now, I'm gonna take it easy with the, the linking. Once that time comes, that strike is gone, and I'm then I'm gonna start linking again. It's YouTube, so what can they do to me? But still, I'm not gonna do it because I'm waiting. I gotta wait like 30 days before you know I start putting stuff <coughs> again. So. Right, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Oh, yeah, and I have another website that if you see a video of mine missing here, then I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show it on that website. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.